Hi, I'm Alan Jones, executive editor for Boating World Magazine. Well, today I'm on board the StarCraft 206 STX Viper with Dan uh, Robinson. How you doing, Dan? Great, thank you. Well, you know, I've been on a lot of fishing boats where some guy had a computer screen, did the CAD thing, and zapped up a fishing boat. Uh, that's not what happened here, is it? No, this is completely pro fisherman designed. They laid this out for us, and you can tell as we walk through the boat what, what they their real desires are. And I think the retail customer is really going to benefit from those things on this boat. Well, I'll tell you what, just the incredible amount of room for starters is uh, really huge. It's quite the dance floor back here in the cockpit. Uh, it gives you the great ability to work with your 39-gallon uh, live well in the back that's oxygenated. It'll hold up to 52-inch fish easily. And we have the Burt's Custom Tackle Pro Tracks on the side. So this area back here is very versatile. Not only is it spacious, but you have the padded uh, uh, combing pads on here so that you can really work the sides of the boat. And these seats are all mobile, so you can do a lot of things. Yeah, I saw the tracks there. I thought they were just to help you board the, board the boat, but uh, what, what can you do with those? We well, pop those out, and that's a great way to throw your downriggers out. Oh. Uh, these are just fillers right now that make for nice step pads when you're getting in and out without scratching up the boat. You could, looks like you'd probably much fish for anything in this boat, couldn't you? It's an all-species boat. We designed it to uh, attract a lot of different buyers, but with a six-person capacity, I think we were talking earlier, you can even get a ski bar if you wanted to make it more of a family fishing ski, but it really is a hardcore fishing boat. Yeah, that's how you talk to your wife. And honey, it's not a, not a fish, just a fishing boat. It's a family ski and all that. That's a great strategy. Yeah, absolutely. Now, what about storage? Uh, storage, we've got tons of storage on the boat and it's all lockable. So if you stop at a restaurant on the way home from a big day of fishing, you don't have to worry about your very expensive gear. Your side panel storage is nice and all finished off. We have in-floor storage, again, that's lockable. We have a huge locker right here that'll handle up to 10 rods. Wow. And what's nice about the boat is you can see that lip and how it goes up there. Um, the boat is... Uh, one piece designed on the top lid makes it very strong and that'll track water down and out into your bailing cockpit. Right. Another nice feature in the cockpit, it comes with a wash down hose so when the boat gets a little bit dirty it's got a fresh water tank and we can spray it down. These are some really uh, stylish looking seats too. These Centric 2 seats are great seats. They'll flip down to act as a two-stage bolster if you want to get up a little bit higher. Um, this one, the driver's seat has a standard air ride pedestal, so that'll help absorb shock in the really deep water. And um, they, they're really stowable, too. You see how flat that lays. So if you don't want them in the boat, you can easily collapse them and stow them. That's excellent. Well, I'll tell you what, for the size boat, that's one of the biggest front decks I've ever seen. Let's take a quick look at that. That'd be great. What do we have going on? Up here, you got the pro deck, and it has an aerated bait well up here in front, so you don't have to travel to the back of the boat, obviously. You have two huge storage lockers right here, and then you have the pro deck command center right here that allows you to work not only your trolling motor functions, your battery functions, your live well, your aerator functions. It has a dual bank charger that's standard on here. So it'll run a 24 volt system easily, and if you wanted to upgrade to the optional 36 volt system, we can do that as well. I'll tell you what, those fishermen, they have so much electronic gear, they, they need all the voltage they can get for sure. Now, one of my th favorite things is this bait bucket, so you don't have to, most of them are set into the deck. You know, when you're sitting in the chair, you can just lean over and get the bait. Uh, yeah, they have, the, they have it in mind for fishermen like me. Again, this was designed by the pros with what they wanted on a boat. We gave them carte blanche on designing this. And you'll see everything from the sides where the cleats snap down so they can work the side to the lights there for picking out tackle. And you're right, your, your bait well at exactly the right height to get in and out of. That's, that's what makes it a great all-species well, boat. Speaking about height, uh, this has so much gunnel height on it, especially up front. You know, if fish is flopping around on the bass boats, you only have about that much room. And I lost a couple of fish like this. I, I think I'll do a lot less crying on this boat, for sure. It, help, it helps keep them corralled, yes, and it also helps that real dry ride that you get out on the water when the winds are whipping over the front. It keeps the cockpit a lot drier. Nice. Well, thanks, Dan. Appreciate it. Thank you. We just finished testing the StarCraft 206 STX Viper. Now, this is uh, StarCraft's pro-designed boat. This is hardcore fish in here, baby. 
Second engine is powered by Mercury's uh, uh, 225 horsepower Optimax Pro XS, which I tell you what, this this setup runs like a scalded dog. It uh, zero to time to plane of 2.6 seconds. We got to 30 miles an hour in five seconds, which is really fast. It got to a top speed of 58.6 miles an hour. One of the great things about this boat is it's really soft ride. This is designed for a lot of guys up north fishing multi-species uh, in any kind of weather. Like in Lake Erie, it really gets rough. So one boat with high gunnels, big windshields, a lot of power that can really handle the rough conditions. For more information on the StarCraft 206 uh, STX Viper, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water. This thing has got a whole